Thomas Cook, a company that reminds anybody of vacation and happy memories, has to now go on a permanent holiday. The world's oldest travel firm of 178 years collapsed suddenly on Monday, that is 23rd September 2019, and left hundreds of thousands of travelers stranded around the globe. The British government had to intervene and the largest peacetime repatriation effort will be carried out for over 150,000 people in British history. Those affected are the tours and travels company-owned hotels, resorts and airlines around the world and 19 million travelers in 16 countries that travel in a year. The estimated revenue in 2018 has been 9.6 billion pounds. It currently has 600,000 people abroad including more than 150,000 British citizens. Thomas Cook employs 21,000 people and is the world's oldest travel company founded in 1841. The company has 1.7 billion pounds of debt. So all its employees, including 9,000 in the UK, will be sacked immediately with effect. The Civil Aviation Authority said that the company has stopped its trading and all its four airlines will be grounded and not fly again. The company several months ago had blamed a slowdown in bookings because of Brexit uncertainty for contributing to its crushing debt burden. The company has been struggling for a few years, but in recent times the company reported a debt burden of 1.25 billion pounds and said that the political uncertainty and peak summers in Europe have led to a decrease in travelling this summer. This further led to the company's unsurmountable debt which was at a negotiation stage. but failed to form a pact with anyone many travelers who book their holiday in advance will receive a refund as they are covered under the british government's travel insurance thomas cook ceo peter fankhauser said i would like to apologize to our millions of customers and thousands of employees suppliers and partners who have supported us for many years